Hello, welcome to today's video where I'll be covering my webcomic process in Clip Studio Paint. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of Clip Studio Paint's vertical comic tools and how they can make webtoon creation much easier. Additional tutorials, as well as everything mentioned in today's video, will be down in the description below. In the world of webcomics, there are two main formats artists typically use when creating their projects, traditional or page format, and vertical or webtoon format. As a comic artist, I work in both formats regularly, which means I've come to learn the different pros and cons of each format, and have seen the huge rise in popularity of vertical comics. In my opinion, vertical comics have become more popular in recent years because of the ease of reading them on smartphones and tablets compared to traditional pages. Rather than flipping a page or reading horizontally, a vertical comic reader simply has to scroll down to engage with the story. What makes vertical comics such a good format for storytelling is that the scrolling element allows the buildup of tension or emotional impact. It's a great format for stories with suspense or shocking moments like dramas and horror, and it allows the artist a lot of creative freedom in how they draw the scenes. As you can see in this example, I use scrolling to lead to a big horror reveal, which gives it a stronger impact. But naturally, this newer format comes with its own set of struggles for creators when compared to its traditional comic counterpart. Things like file size, formatting, and panel layout are all totally different for vertical comics when compared to traditional ones, and trying to learn a whole new style can be a little overwhelming at first. But like in most cases, artists have developed workarounds and techniques over time for making this format the best it can be. And fortunately, Clip Studio Paint has released several tools for creating vertical comments that make the learning and work process much easier and faster. Note that for this video series, I'll be working in Clip Studio Paint EX, which has features designed specifically for comic creation. You can check the feature comparison chart on clipstudio.net for a full list of version differences if you aren't sure which features apply to you. When starting a new project, you can set it to vertical format by choosing the Webtoon default option under File New. There are multiple templates available, or you can make your own with your specifications. If you intend to post your webtoon on a specific platform, I recommend looking into their preferred image dimensions, then doubling those numbers for your canvas. That way you can work at a large scale and reduce the size later with no loss in quality. It's worth noting that, typically, vertical web comics have extremely large canvas sizes. Since the red like one continuous strip, that means the height of the canvas will continue growing the more panels you add. They can easily reach over 20,000 pixels tall, at least. If you're working on a device with some hardware limitations, it can be important to keep this in mind while working. You may struggle to open a massive canvas and experience some slow buffering while you draw, or, in a serious case, your device may freeze up altogether. Fortunately, however, Clip Studio Paint has a way of offsetting this issue. Under the Page Settings submenu, you can set a number of page divisions to break the large canvas up into smaller pieces. That way, rather than having to work on the entire canvas at once, you can have multiple smaller canvases stitched together with more reasonable individual dimensions. For long comic projects, I always recommend creating a template of your preferred dimensions for future use. Once you've created a canvas with multiple divisions, you can open each individual piece from the story file. While working, keep in mind that each divided canvas will be attached to the ones next to it in the final product. If you plan to add gradients or textures to your work, avoid placing them near the top and bottom edges of the canvas so it transitions smoothly from one page to the next when combined. Those are the basics of what a vertical webcomic is and how Clip Studio Paint can help you create one. In the next episode, I'll continue discussing Clip Studio Paint's many vertical comic tools and my favorite ways to use them. Check the description below for my social media links and more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.